My name is Lieutenant Commander Adam Northover. I'm the officer in charge of the navigation training unit at Maritime Warfare School Collingwood. There's a variety of reasons why we have a carrier model within our simulator. Primarily, it's in order to allow us to train the officers who are going to be driving the ship either in and out of harbour or on the high seas, but also it's been used to try and understand how the carrier itself will handle, because we've never had in recent naval history a ship of this size. So her ship handling characteristics are going to be unique and uh, we want to be able to get an idea of what those are going to be uh, using the simulator model. I think since the Queen Elizabeth class has been on the drawing board, it's been clear that there are going to have to be some changes to the current layout of uh, Portsmouth Harbour. However, uh, the simulator itself has played a part in refining the decisions that were eventually made, uh, not least of which the approaches to the harbour at the moment are made up of a series of uh, small legs into harbour uh, with a few turns. And with a ship this size, we're going to try and minimise that as much as possible. So we've removed uh, two legs um, by cutting a corner effectively. This will involve dredging a significant part of the outer harbour to allow access. The size of the ship is such it's uh, 40 metres wide at the, uh, at the waterline, which means uh, she's not going to have a huge amount of water either side as she goes in between Round Tower and Fort Blockhouse at the base of uh, Portsmouth Harbour. Uh, there's more than enough room, but if there's uh, issues with wind, ships tend to um, try and seek wind. And so if it's uh, too windy, uh, she'll be more difficult to control as she goes through that gap. Uh, one of the things we can do in the simulator is change sea state and visibility, uh, which has allowed us to uh, see how uh, the carrier is going to handle in, in, in rough weather. And as you'd expect with a, a ship this size, it would take a fairly heavy sea to, uh, to have any, any effect. But nonetheless, it's still enjoyable to, to imagine yourself standing on the bridge of this, uh, this ship in uh, significant sea states, heading off to uh, operations on the far side of the world. One of the advantages to having simulators is you can uh, change your viewpoint and I'm able to put myself on the bridge of the, uh, the new carrier or on the flight deck of the new carrier. I can even take myself off the carrier and put myself uh, in the middle of the harbour uh, looking back at the carrier and uh, it's going to be a very impressive sight when she comes into the harbour for the first time, uh, particularly with uh, I presume the associated escorts and, uh, and public interest. It's going to be very much a party atmosphere I should imagine and I for one uh, will want to be on Round Tower at Portsmouth to watch her go in.